and welcome back to the second part of this program so let's close that all right the next thing i'd like to do now that would be for us to change the background color to powdered blue so to achieve that i'm going to come right down here underneath here let's press enter and i want to enter screen display screen dot fill um what you what i want you to feel would be the color that i defined up here powdered blue so i'm going to copy that come right down here paste that in here there if i run my program now this will be the changes that you guys will see the background changes but nothing is happening with the image yet apart from when i press x it does not change directions look at that okay now exit out now the reason why you guys saw the the player moving up and down is because the black color is now covered by the specified color so if i press x again look at that it looks like it's jumping up and down but let me show you one thing let's assume i comment this out if i comment that out and run the program what you will see is you will see the player everywhere on the screen just like you saw earlier so if i press s x that's it that's what you see okay so that's the whole purpose of the fill the fill function uh, get rid of that okay now that is fine now the next thing i want to do now is to be able to move my player left down up and left so what i'm going to do is i'll use an if statement if let's say go down and player dot bottom is less than six let me make that six hundred and sixty okay six hundred and sixty okay because the height is seven hundred so that's minus forty so let's say player should go back to the top because I don't want it to go beyond 700 so dot top let's say plus equals my velocity and that velocity is 3 if you guys can still recall right up here that is the velocity is 3 ok let's come down now now the next thing is supposing the player goes up I'm gonna copy this and just change it to run if the player go up what I want you to do is that to be less than zero or greater than zero okay y top player with dot top minus minus equals velocity what about left if it goes left enter left this ought to be indented else there will be an error okay if you go left and that will be or oh, this should be top really okay if it go left in that case that will be left and for left I'm going to use 350 1350 no greater than zero that's okay that's greater than zero the right will be 1350 come right down here paste and if it's right that will be less than 1350 there we go plus and this one will be minus here yeah okay okay so have a good look at these lines of code so I'm now going to run it and see 
how it's going to work. And let's see. Yeah, you see that, guys? Left. That's up. Let's go left. Stop right there. It's not stopping. Yeah, that stops. Now, the next thing I want to do is to populate the screen with the lollipop. Okay, let's go right up here and declare another variable for the image. So I'm just going to copy this. That makes life easy for me. Come right down here, paste. And I'll just change the name around. The name of the image is Ice. Thing is called ice cream. Let's see in here. Yeah, there we go. Press F2 and just copy that. Copy. Now come right down here and just paste it in there. Now it makes life easier. Yeah. And let's give this variable a name. So I'm gonna just call it I just call it lolly. Lolly image or lollipop image. Yeah, lollipop image, that's fine. And let's declare another variable here. So right underneath here, I'm going to say lolly pop equals nothing in the array. So let's use a for loop for i in range. Let's make that 20. And let it let it generate lollipops. Let it generate lollipops randomly in all direction. There we go. So these lines randomly produce lollipop on the screen. Okay. So the next thing I want to do now is let's create a counter for it. So I'm just going to call that lollipop counter anyway. Copy that as well. Again, come right down here. Lollipop counter. The first value is zero. Right. And let's see if there's going to be more lolly. say make that 40 yeah now let's use the for loop to populate the screen so I'm gonna go right down here that's right here and let's say for lollipop in lollipops That is the variable that I declare earlier on, so I'm going to put that inside my array. Then I'm going to now use if statement if if player dot collide collide rect angle rect and that will be the lolly itself lollipop open the bracket if it there collides with it then lollipops dot remove else is just be all over the place okay let's get rid of that then we'll say player equals pi game dot rect and the player 
dot left comma here dot top comma player dot width plus two comma player dot height plus two close that so let's correct this and the stretch player let's come right now here equals pygame dot transform pygame dot trans transform dot scale open a bracket player that's equal to the player image then we're going to say player width comma player height dot height now what about the music so if music playing then feed me sound so that means the sound that is called yeah that will be this this very sound mushroom mushroom we have to play then right there okay but there's one more thing I need to use a for loop to let's just copy all of this this that is wrong I'm gonna copy all of this for loop to okay we use the for loop to populate the ice lolly so let's paste that there and delete let's get rid of this yeah and now let's say display string dot Blade. Blade actually means populate or create add image on board. Okay. Lollipop image, comma, and the variable lolly, this very one, because the for loop will make it generate as many lollies as we want. As the system can so let's run it and see what's gonna happen now there we go look at that well we have a problem I'm able to I'm able to eat the lollies am I growing is it growing so the lolly is not generating to have to close this now because the man is not getting any bigger and the ice lolly is not the ice lolly is now reproducing itself so what I'm gonna do right here just come down here right underneath here we say let's use an if statement So if event dot type equals let's say mouse mouse button up then what I want the ice lolly the lolly to do let's say lollies dot append Pi game dot and event dot position and that will be zero. 
plus minus that by 10 comma event dot position will be 1 minus 10 comma 20 comma 20 day now let's use the lolly counter so I'm gonna come here now and ask the lolly counter to sort things out for me lolly counter plus equals one so we just add one and if lolly counter is greater than is greater than and equals to more more lollies as you guys can still recall or if you can still recall more lolly is equals to four so let's see it's right up here somewhere that's it is is equal to 40 so come right down here let's correct that spelling first and here we just need to say counter counter equals zero okay and i want the lolly to be randomly displayed on the screen so i'm just going to copy that come right down here let's paste and let's use a run function random dot round int and that will be zero comma 1350 minus 20 comma then random again let's just copy all of this paste it right here and that is 700 so say minus 20 comma 20 comma 20 and that is and that is all we bring this up so what we happen is whenever this collusion now the lollipop will be generated why the player get bigger or increase in size so let's run this now and see how it's gonna look like There we go. Decision time. Yeah, another one generated. You see the player getting bigger. And please do subscribe join to be a member of the channel so i'm going to try out the x you can see that so the x jump to whatever position y the m's pause the music and now start the music again okay and with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it you all have a nice day now bye for now